Hi, this is Brent Arnold, and you're probably wondering who is Brent. Well, I'm a Flash platform developer. That's what I like to call myself. Some people call me other names, but I'm not really going to repeat that here. The point is that as a Flash platform developer, what that means to me is that I can create products, software that can be played in the Flash player. And as you know, the Flash player is on like every computer in the world. It's on, it's becoming more and more uh, on mobile devices, on TVs, on all sorts of uh, computer interfaces. You're going to find Flash, Flash player. Now, there's many ways to create Flash content. You can use Flash CS4, you can use Flex Builder 3. Uh, those are the two basics. You can even create Swifts that play in a Flash player from programs like Illustrator, things you know that are kind of visual elements. They may not have as much interactivity. There are third-party applications out there, but all of them come back to producing content that plays in the Flash player. Now, currently, the latest uh, code language to create content is ActionScript 3. And so what I want to do is give you an introduction and talk about what ActionScript 3 is, as well as cover the basics of the language. So I'm going to start putting out these videos to explain, you know, go through how to use Flex, how to use Flash, how to use ActionScript, really just kind of a an online help that's in video format. Um, you've ever seen those uh, programs where people are like, they're going to hate me for telling you this, or other people are going to charge you thousands of dollars for this information, but I'm going to give it to you free. It's kind of like that, but I mean, I I don't think anybody's going to kill me, not a not again, not after that last time. But the point is that really, this is information you can find online. I mean, it's it's in the help files, uh, the Adobe help files. There's some great documentation programming ActionScript 3 that you could read on your own. And really, all I'm doing is going through that type of uh, material. I mean, I'm just adding my own comments, introducing things, how I understand it. And maybe that'll help you. Maybe it won't. Maybe you'll be like, gosh, Brent, I want my money back. And then I'll be like, well, you didn't pay for it. It's free. And then you'll be like, yeah, but you wasted my time. And then I'll be like, well, then, you know, tough. Anyway, that's what these tutorials are all about. So I'm going to call these chapters. And this is the introduction. Uh, it's not, you know, there's... I could cover quite a bit just in the introduction alone, but I'll keep them short, keep them down to, you know, hour, three hours at the most, really, because I don't want to, I mean, I don't want to go on too long for each individual tutorial, but the point is that uh, it's free, it's just information I've learned as a developer, and, you know, if you like it, great, if you don't, eh, I'm just going to put it out there and uh, see what happens. Okay, so what is ActionScript 3? It is the programming language, like I said, that creates Swift content or .swf files, files that are played in the Flash Player. You see the Flash Player in your browser, now with, you, with Adobe Integrated Runtime or Air, you have the uh, desktop applications that utilize the same type of coding language. So if you know ActionScript 3, then you can create content for the latest Flash Player, which is currently Flash Player 10. And you can create just about anything. I'm, and I mean just about anything. Anything that can be displayed on the screen, anything that can you know, process information. Uh, Flash is really just an excellent way to present information, to entertain. I mean, there's tons of games out there. There's just so much you can do with Flash and Flex. When I reference Flex, I'm talking about Flex Builder 3, I'm talking about the Flex SDK, which again is a framework. And 
the framework, the flex framework compiles down to ActionScript 3, and then it's compiled into bytecode, and then it's run on your computer. So really, they're all related. Um, I'll show you Flash CS4 and Flex Builder 3 to kind of indicate how we use ActionScript 3 in that language. So basically, uh, I'm going to flip over here to Flex Builder 3, and here I have an application. I just called it ActionScript, and there's this script tag. Inside of the script tag, there's all this information. Well, this information inside this script tag is specifically ActionScript 3. And currently all this does is if you click a button, it displays the current date. Now, if I flip over to Flash CS4, notice I have the same kind of thing, but here I have the ActionScript and it's written on this frame on the timeline. So again, we have ActionScript 3 used in both examples. Now, there's some differences. You may see a few differences between what, what's in Flash and what's in Flex, but the principles are the same. So I'll go through that. We'll talk about what all this means, what variables, what uh, data types are, what functions are. Really just go through and cover a lot of detail. Now, I'm not going to do that in this one tutorial because, you know, that I can only l upload 10-minute videos to YouTube anyway. So, anyway, you know what I'm saying. All right. So, with that said, uh, we're going to dive right in. And the next chapter, we're going to introduce something. I'm not sure what that is, but I think you'll like it. And if not, just um, contact customer service and get your money back.